Is there, how do I give her the link? Um, let's do this. Is it possible? Yeah. Who is Tanya? She's my uh, assistant. She works ah. with Web Dimensions. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, I, can you copy and paste that link? Yeah, where uh, do I get it? Uh, the one I sent you in Facebook? Oh. Or wait, you know, wait, at the okay. top of the screen. Top of the screen? Oh, you mean the location? Yeah, the URL. I got it. Yeah, you can just copy that and send it, and that'll bring uh, her right in. Uh, we're live, just so everybody knows, and everybody who's uh, been watching the show and who's going to watch the show, this is how we roll. Um, and uh, I'm Frank. Byron's in the blue, Hewitt is in the black, and we are going to have more people jumping in, and I will introduce as I get introduced. So, what's going on, guys? Huh? Not well, much? It's been, it's been a, quite a day for me, I'll say. This is my first um, first launch that I've really done all by myself, you know? I mean, I've had people helping me, but I don't mean I didn't hire. I did not hire a launch manager, and I did not hire a JV partner or broker or whatever. I basically managed it all myself, and I was kind of scared to do that for a while because my first three launches were so huge, and I had help, you know. So I said, well, "What if I do it on my own?" And then I falter or whatever. You know, but I'll tell you what, it's been quite strong so far. I have to say. Man, it you wasn't got eighty five thousand dollars in one hour like my last one was, but it's, you know, we're in five figures already, you know, in a couple of hours, so I can't complain, you know. Holy shit. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. What your last one was ICCP? Oh no, well, I mean my last uh, public launch was a viral video curator pro, BBC Pro. That's right. Stephen Renton. Great guy that helped me with that launch and knocked it through the roof. And before that, I had worked with John Pierce, another awesome marker that knocked it out of the park for me two times, you know, so. I think I'm that's how we, I think that's how yeah. we got uh, connected was I, right. I talked to John, and he was like, dude, you got to talk to Hugh, you know, he'll he'll talk to you, and, and he's he's cool and shit, and then and I was like, all right, cool. And uh, God, that's that's been a while. So you went completely right. solo on this one. I did, completely solo. I've been doing some private promos for the last year or so, and that's been cool, but, you know, it's like, I'll tell you what, after those first three launches, I mean, there's they're a hard act to follow, and I just said, well, you know, I'm going to just suck it up and do it, and I didn't really probably pick the best timing, but even so, man, it's just still, it's been wonderful. I, I can't, I'm, I'm very grateful, but plus, it's an awesome product. I think that's probably one of the reasons why it's doing so well is people actually are, like, getting it, you know, about the product. Well, yeah, I mean, um, when, uh, Byron and I were just talking about it, that your videos have always been extremely tight with the information, you know. I, I'm not guessing, and, I, and being a video guy, so many people go, okay, I saw the video, and it didn't say shit. It, it didn't tell us what it does. It didn't show mm -hmm. us anything. They just said, you know, you want to install this and you want to put in your licensing key and then sit back and listen for PayPal to call you up and congratulate you on being a millionaire. And I'm like, yeah, as soon as they said that shit, I was off the page because that just doesn't work. I bought all those plugins. I'm still broke. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, you, I mean, you. The way that, I, and I loved how you could silo it out and move things around right there before you even, you know, uploaded it to uh, the page or to the site, um, which I've always had problems with. Like almost like a musical keyboard, you know, you get the keywords are all like musical notes and you put them together in a staff and, and organize them. So it's like almost playing your website like it's a piano or something. It's, I kind of love that. Idea. Oh, that no shit. That is, uh, he, and I, just to let you know, you um, off to the side of Byron. Behind him is a, uh, I, I, I want to say it's almost like an Elvis painting on velvet. Um, it, but it's, um, it, yeah. Show, show us your, what, a little bit further, brother. Come on, show him, show him your picture. He's got the slash photo back there. <laughs> um, wow, man. I see Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> or that slide. 
Yeah, <laughs> Slash. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. except he's 20 some <laughs> years old. Meister. <laughs> he's 20 some years old. We got to give him a little slack. He probably doesn't even oh, know yeah. what the hell Sly means. <laughs> give him props, man, for that Sly painting, bro. I mean, where'd you get that? I've never even <laughs> seen such a thing. I, well, Amazing. He, yeah, oh, they, I had to have it when I saw it. It's pretty badass. Wow. I, that I always, always looks like uh, Howard Stern a little bit too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hopefully one day I'll be able to get him down in a Google Hangout, but I doubt that'll happen God, soon. That would be so much. Fun. I was watching his movie the other day. You see that? WNBC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this the, the greatest part was is I went to school for radio. And that's what they right. wanted. And it was like, come on, really? And they're like, practice, practice. Right. And I'm like, oh, man. And, then three man. Months later, <laughs> and then three months later, the call signs change anyways, and all of a sudden now you're a country. country right, uh, exactly. Man. I mean, it, it, it happened to every DJ in the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. So, I mean, you saved a bunch of money by not having a launch manager. Yeah, a powerful hey, start. If the launch manager could get me a million dollars, then I wouldn't have saved money. I don't know if they would right now. I'm sure they could get a lot of money, but I just wanted to, you know, this is me. I wanted to get everything under my hands and just do it. And it has been quite an experience, and I really busted my ass. And I made a few mistakes, but, you know, I picked those up on the next time around. And I th I'm feeling just great about this, this launch. I'm happy yeah. That's awesome. Tanya, hello, how are you? Your mic's off, so it's okay. <laughs> Tanya's, Tanya's got the, the picture up of the profile, and she's smiling. It's good to have you on. We haven't formally met, so... Um, yes, I'd like to introduce this to Tanya Shipman. She's uh, been my friend for about two years now. She was... Um, you know, uh, a client in, in a venturing student, and then she was just stepped right up, and so I brought her into the company. And her, uh, she is the um, chief operations officer, is what we, what we refer to her as. She's just wonderful, just a wonderful support for me. I'm so happy to have Tanya. That, that is awesome. I, um, I was lucky enough to have a couple of my students. Um, take off and just blow up in their respective areas and actually one of mine just um, launched a, a service with um, uh, Damien and uh, Joshua Zamora uh, where she's doing some major video linking and stuff and they blew up and every time they open up the, the cart within 45 minutes they're selling out for the next set of seats and, I'm right. just, and she's yeah, like I can't I can't, I can't help but thank you. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You did this. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just happy for you. And when you make yeah, it, Marty, you send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so Well, it's going to jump off for Tanya, too. And she's kind of weighing the wings right now and, and, and providing support. But she's, she's going to spread her wings and fly one of these days herself. So, you know, she's a well, smart cookie. As they say, that's like a chauvinist expression. <laughs> Art cooking. <laughs> she's a she's a real special lady. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's awesome. Man. Tanya's the bomb. <laughs> you you um, decided to launch um, this during the JV Zoo mayhem, where every power affiliate. <laughs> If they didn't, if they didn't yeah. mail out for you, man, it's like you're gonna have drunken mailings going out this weekend. <laughs> so I'm totally down for you know. I mean, I, we kind of picked it arbitrarily, and then as it got closer, I was like, uh oh, yeah, guess what, you know. And then I decided, you know, this is gonna actually be my tribute to JV Zoo and those people because this is my first launch, and I'm doing it on JV Zoo. It's my first launch. That I actually have done on JV Zoo, and I work work with Brian Zimmerman. He's so awesome. He totally helped me, even in the middle of his mastermind. He reached out and helped me. You know, the owner of JV Zoo. So he's fantastic. Yeah, I I, I love Brian, and you know, um, 
couple weeks ago, there was a big, big who stank on JV Zoo, and I had made a couple of comments on Facebook, and um, next thing I know, I get this message from EBR, you know, and E. Brian Rose is like, dude, can I talk to you? I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to text you. I actually want to physically talk to you, and I was like, oh, crap, what did I do? Did I blow up my account? Who did I piss off? You know, I don't want the owners, him and Brian, coming at me on on Facebook, I'm like, yeah, give me a call, dude. And, uh, he was just like, hey, I saw what you said, and I wanted to make sure you knew that we were working hard at it. And I'm like, you know, holy oh, shit. Wow. I mean, that's like complaining about Pepsi and having <laughs> the CEO call you up and go, sorry, you know, we, we didn't mean to right. fuck your can up. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that is one of the most amazing things about this whole community. I think just now I'm starting to, like, capiche the whole thing at that you know, it's it's all like a big party, and everybody knows each other. It's like we're all family, and if you work the other way, you're not gonna get in. You're not gonna make it. You know, I mean, you gotta think we're all in this, man, and everybody is trying to help each other, which is so amazing. It's mm -hmm. very different from what I came from you know, the music business, where it's like it's very seldom do you find anybody that's trying to help anybody but themselves in the music <laughs> business. But in this industry, we all uh, benefit from each other's success, and that's what's so wonderful about this whole community. Yeah, um, I, that's my speech. No, but but it's true. And um, I was talking with the guy that I I help helped him with marketing his book, and one of the things in his group is he goes, "Listen, I don't have very many rules, but rule number one is don't be a dick." He's no, like, "Right, I, I heard that. Did you put that? Somebody posted that on." Who was that? I just saw that somewhere. It, it could have been me. Oh, it could, it could have been me to repost it because that's Zappa. that's really how I've I've just decided to live my life is you know just don't be a dick and everything else will kind right. of work itself out. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, like you said in the music business, just a few weeks ago, and my wife my wife saw it happened. Um, there we we went and they had the big soundboard and um, their mains were out. I mean, you could just hear the monitors screaming, and that's where they were getting their volume from. And I'm like, your mains are out. And the, guy, and the sound guy was being a dick. And I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job, but something's muted. And he's like, nothing's muted. I know how to do my job. And I'm like, all right, cool. Well, we go back a couple of days later, and it's a whole new sound guy. And I'm like, so what happened to the other guy? And they're like, he ran a whole show muted. So yeah, got fired. <laughs> and I was like, "Damn, I, it's not that I know it all, but when your mains are out, something's not plugged in or something's muted." And I mean, <laughs> you got ears, bro. It's, it's, you can tell when, when when the musicians are asking, begging you to turn it down. <laughs> you're overpowering them. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So. Let me ask you this about your tool, and 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 this is this is kind of something that we talked about a little while ago with SEO and uh, private blog networks. Can I use your tool and literally build up websites to use in my my private blog network? As a matter of fact, you could probably build about ten websites in one hour with this tool if you wanted. If you have ten sites ready. <laughs> to be made, you know. Right. It's so easy. I mean, it depends. I mean, you want to put more time into it. We don't re recommend that you half-ass anything. That's kind of, I think, maybe the difference. And I'm not trying to crack on anybody, but a lot of the tools out there say, like, yeah, you can half-ass it and still be a millionaire. Well, we don't say that. You know, we say, yeah, the more time that you put into creating quality content, the better it's going to be. I think that's what everybody knows now. You know, it's just that people are still still want to believe in the dream of the push button riches. But I mean, you can definitely push button make a website with our tool, and you can make a, a damn good website super fast. The, the, the more time you put into it, of course, the better it will be. That's just the way it is. We, you know, some of the tools out there don't let you do that. Some of the tools out there just say, look, this is it. This is what you get. You can't modify it. You can't add value. You can't do anything. Just let it sit there and shut away. We're not like that either. We think of our customers as artists, and we provide them with, you know, the, the color palette that they need to paint their picture. That's that's what we do. That's how we deal with it. 
I think that's what has always um, drawn me into you is you came from an extremely creative field being music um, and knowing that, yes, you have a musical scale, but so much more, and then your personal part can, can create it, and then you went, but I want to be a programmer because you can still be creative and give people, you know, I mean, it's taken a, a little while to get um, it under your belt to have that those doors open for people, but I, I love... I've always loved the ease of your stuff and the fact that you make it on Adobe um, Air so that <laughs> you can knock out that first question is, can I use this on my Mac? Uh, right, right. <laughs> and we're moving it to web apps too, you know, so that's also Mac and PC friendly too. I think Adobe Air may be going the way of the, uh, the dinosaurs at some point. Now, maybe not right away, but, you know, it's it's... They don't. They stopped. Uh, it kind of stopped developing that language a couple of years ago. So who knows? You know what's going to happen. It's still an awesome, awesome tool. But I definitely do think you know, like everyone says, web apps are going to be more the wave of the future, whatever. So, but I've been doing web apps since 1996. Well, I know. I mean, but you, you know, you you've been programming since you and uh, what's his name created the internet. <laughs> Al Gore. So. Yeah, Al Gore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Al Gore. <laughs> you, you and Al Gore were buddies and hanging out one night having beers and said, hey, this internet thing, we got to make it. <laughs> yeah, that and we got to figure out how to make money off of global warming and we'll be fine. Hey, you know what? I, it's, I, I don't remember what, what it was, but somebody said something about baby seals and I said, hey, you know, it's batting practice for baseball. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible, I know. Go ahead, everybody can email me. I, I love animals. I love eating them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask, Tanya, how cool is it to work with you? And don't kiss his ass. He's not going to fire you. He needs you right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> she never. Was good to work with. Um, uh, I, I, I say to people I really love my job because uh, I say to Hugh I'd like the software to do this, he gets out and does it, then he gives it back to me and I break it, then he fixes it again, and um, um, and then I've got a, a software that's even better than what it was when we started. So it's, it's great to work yeah. with you. That, that is the best. I love breaking shit. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's one of the things I sell. I, I, I do to use beta testing because it just is so, such a pleasure because he'll listen, he'll say, cat. Oh, I don't know if I can do it that way. Oh, next morning I'll wake up because I'm in Australia. He's in the US. I'll I'll ask for something. I'll wake up in the next morning and it's done, ready to go, ready for me to break it again. And, that, and that's how. And that's how. No, like, hey, hey, you, you know, Sorry, bro. No, go ahead, she's man. Like, hey, you, you know, this doesn't work. You know what? I did this and that didn't work. And I'm like, oh, get out of here. You're just being annoying, you know. So then I go and say, oops, she's right. <laughs> You know, and then I fix it. I mean, that happens like so many times. Like, oh, you're you're wrong. Well, she's always right. She always <laughs> finds the bugs. We call her the destroyer. <laughs> but you know what? You, you need people like that. And you know, so many people have done. You know, I tested out my stuff. It's just like when um, Anthony Aries helped me with my launch. You know, uh -huh. we had everything ready. It was it was perfect. And he's like, just do me a favor. Um, the night before, just go through, get all your friends to go through, make sure everything's working, make sure there's no screw-ups, and we did. And he was, he was at the marketer's mansion in Vegas with everybody. And I'm like, wait a minute, you're doing the marketer's mansion, we've got a launch, you're guiding me through this. <laughs> and I can't call you because you're teaching classes. I'm like, I am so effed on this. Um, and we launch. And we well we launched and everything was great and he's like, w w w did you open up the the cart? And I'm like, dude, I I did everything you said. You in here look in the back office, look at it. And he's like, it's not working. Nobody's buying. And I'm like, oh man, what's wrong? And it just so happened that Warrior Forum was down for six and a half hours. Oh and, uh, great! I was sitting there and I was crying. I'm like, really? <laughs> it's Friday the thirteenth. 
We mm. launched. It's great. I've got people emailing and everything going, where is it? Why can't I buy it? I can't believe this. And <laughs> I was like, oh, no. And, uh, yeah, he was um, actually uh, the guy who owned Warrior Forum was sitting with Anthony, and they're both like, yeah, um, we don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was it was fun, and then you know, like you said, after you launch, you know, you want to do it by yourself just to say, "Hey, I did it." You know, next time, yeah, I'll get a launch manager. I don't need to worry about that ass ache anymore. But I did it, and it didn't mm -hmm. kill me. So, um, so who should buy this piece of software? Okay, well. First of all, anybody that likes to play around with keywords at all, I mean, for whatever reason, there are a lot of reasons to use keywords or to, to um, find them, have them, organize them, save them in data banks, filter them, sort them, and then make projects out of them. Um, so, you know, you could be a, a CPM marker, a CPA marker, a Facebook marker, a Google marker, whatever. Um, I mean, I have people contact me and say, look, I don't want to build websites, but I really like key keywords, and I like to have a database of keywords and stuff. And I say, man, this is made for you. You need this. You know? And then we have other people that kind of say, you know what, this is like looks really cool the way that we can just make website with this, and we can basically design the website in front of our eyes on our computer without having to go through a lot of complicated on-site clicking here, back and forth and stuff. And you know, we can really just plan a whole thing out. We see exactly what the search volume is for every section that we're building, and so on and so forth. And, um, so you, so it could be niche marketing also in Google. You know, it could be PBN builders. I mean, PBN is so huge now; it's like probably the next thing that's going to get slapped. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, it's like. That's what everybody. So nothing else works now, so we got to build our own networks. But I mean, if you're doing that, I'm not saying it's not good, or I'm not making a judgment. I'm saying this is a great tool for building PBNs. Absolutely great. The fact that in some ways it's, you know, they're coming out with cloud PBN next week, which is um, I've examined, and there's really not much. There's not too much difference between what my thing does and what their thing does. The only difference that I know of right now is that they make some backlinks. Okay, so we don't have a backlink solution in what well, we do in IC Express for uh, for social sharing, but we, you know we're not really big on backlinks. However, I do have a new program that I've already designed and built that will be launching in November that actually is going to really be an awesome high PR linker and not going to be a spam, it's going to be more of a video thing, but um, anyway, that's what I'm saying, yes, PBNs, blog curation people, niche website, uh, viral content people, all that kind of, all those, all those people fit into the demographic of this tool. Well, one thing that I, I've learned over the past, sh shit, five years, um, and I've screwed it up every year, is um, launching out these, these super niche like Amazon sites. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody wants to start launching them, you know, November 25th or the week before Black Friday or, you know, and it's like, wait a minute, by the time you even get it built, you get it ready and you get it out there and you start to create any sort of authority, uh, Christmas is over. You know, you're already into February yeah, the now. the month before Christmas is not the time for that. So that's why when I saw I saw what you did and I and I literally like like I posted in my Facebook question to you is I literally have sheets of URLs and half of them they're bought and they're sitting there and there's nothing there and I went even if I just put oh, no, content yeah. on it right 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 sure well you could do that you know I mean you could actually do probably all of them in an afternoon with ICC keyworks and silo factor. Well, and now and that's my thing is I do I'm I've got probably ten keyword tools on on my desk desktop. I've got you know I I still love Keyword Planner because I I've just known how to adjust for Google, um, so I always go there. Um, so if I can stay in one tool 
pull what I need in and 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 be able to right. adjust but you know but like you said keep the database of the keywords cuz exactly. i i probably want one for these keywords and another one for this and then right. play them together right cuz you could search in one niche for example and you get you know 800 keywords based on one seed keyword get another 800 keywords based on a on a similar seed keyword and get the, you know, save them all to the keywords database, and then go go you know go out to eat or something. And you come back, you just pull up the same data that you already downloaded, then you filter it. Let's say this one website, you want to get really really high cost AdSense clicks, like ten dollar, fifteen dollar clicks, right? So you can easily find those with keywords. Or on the other hand, let's say if you really want to do AdWords, you want to find the cheapest clicks, you can find the cheapest CPC in the same set of keywords. And you can just keep going back. I mean, that's just one example of how you would do that. And you can just keep going back and forth. And you can keep downloading more keywords every day and just keep filling up your database more and more. And you have more to work with. And if that's your thing, man, you'll be in heaven. Well, you, you, you just you just gave away one of my my major secrets is while everybody else is going after those twenty five thirty five dollar keywords, I'm looking at the eighty cents, the eight cents, the four cents, and I've got these websites that are huge for all these words that nobody wants, and I'm just like, hey, click, you know, please, the the four cents adds up, brother. I mean, that's that's Starbucks coffee for me. <laughs> Well, there's not much nicer than seeing that Google owes you money. <laughs> oh, absolutely, you know, and and that's that's one of the things that I loved. Um, I and I literally this shows you how bad I am, but I had to go and get my uh, my AdSense for the Android, um, and people are like, "Why?" And I'm like, "Cause there's nothing like seeing that Google owes me 15 cents for the day." And and I'm lame, but that fifteen cents makes me happy on that one site. I'm I like, I check it out too. Man. I'm like, hell yes, yeah. I love it. I'm, but I'm a numbers dude, you know. I like, um, I like getting ClickBank sales too. Oh, ClickBank! You know what? You know what kills me about ClickBank is let that crap sit there and they take a dollar. I'm yeah. like, you rat bastards. Well, they don't seem to be the most conducive to really making money, but I mean. They, it's evergreen stuff that you can just throw on a blog and forget about it, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely um, a great. My my wife, um, she's a school teacher, so she was a kindergarten school teacher, and she did this whole how to prepare your kid for kindergarten and stuff. And um, there wow. happened to be a couple of little, you know, ebooks out there, and went to ClickBank, pulled their stuff, and put them into a side little ad. Yeah, she sold a couple, but you know it was like, okay, cool, it's filler, you know, and it's always there, so I don't have to worry about the launch ending or you know somebody uh -huh. disappearing right. in seven months. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Well, li listen, I appreciate you coming on, man. I you have always been nothing but super cool, you know, to talk with. You always bring up the coolest, the coolest freaking music. Um, on Facebook, you'll throw you'll throw out a video, and I'll be like, "Where the hell did he find that?" <laughs> <laughs> well, you too. I mean, you've been uh, quite um, proliferous in terms of your <laughs> posting lately, and I really enjoyed what you put out. You you have a huge variety of things that you post, and I follow you quite closely. Well, thank you. I, I um, we we have the wife and I have friends that follow us or follow me now just because we get into arguments on Facebook, um, and just just go after each other. And we're sitting on the same couch, but we're posting back and forth as if we're nowhere near each other. And people are just like, "Do you really do that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, we really do that. Um, that's just the way we <laughs> we have fun on a Friday night. We're an old married couple. Okay. What the hell? We got nothing else to do." <laughs> But thank you. Oh, thank you don't you. look bad, bro. Hey, well, you, you, you know, stir up. I, I like stirring this shit up and uh, and seeing who's paying attention. Um, mm -hmm. I guess it's like my Frank Kearns for people's day, you know. Good pattern interrupt for everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tanya, 
It is lovely to meet you. Please, let's be friends on Facebook. I have I have lots of friends in Australia. I call them friends, but we're Facebook friends. Um, I have a friend as well. So yeah, happy to happy to add you as a friend. So. And if you guys need anything during your launch, please reach out to me. Um, you know, I, I'll I'll throw Byron in there and just say he'll be willing to help you out too. But uh, I'm I'm loving what you offer and have offered and what you future offer because you do put some uh, you put some blood, sweat, and tears into it, and it's not something that you outsource and say, hey, here's a new launch this week. You know, I mean, it's right. been almost what a year. It's been a year and a half. That's, that's, I mean, that's some dedication to getting shit out to your students that you want to work and work well for them. And, you know, so I, I appreciate your dedication to what you're doing, man. Well, many thanks to you, sir. I, I really uh, appreciate this opportunity to be on here and just tell my story and bring Tanya on. And, and just thanks so much for having us. Yeah, that's hey, really anytime you guys want to get on, you know, Hit me up. I, I've, I've, we're, uh, okay. we're, we're putting in eight more cameras. Um, I just, I just ordered my road case that I'm going to have um, a computer built into a road case instead awesome. of a computer case. Um, yeah, and I'm like, this thing's got to be bulletproof, weatherproof, sandproof. I've got to be able to drop it off a truck. I want it to be as, as durable. As a Pelican box can be, um, and I want it as a fully function mobile video studio. So we'll like be able to run it. Uh, GoPro, we're going to be running um, eight USB, eight 3.0 USB cameras off this sucker. So wow. we're hoping to be able to do some uh, really cool editing stuff in 2015. So fantastic. Hey, never know. Maybe next year I'll show up at JV Zoo and we'll just have a big old video truck and be able to really show some craziness. <laughs> that would be the bomb. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, man, we can put this on video and actually sell this as a course. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, they All do right. that. Yeah, well, I know EBR keeps that shit on the lockdown, man. He doesn't want anybody going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> well listen sense. thank you again I appreciate your guys' time and, and really hit me up instant message me email me whatever you need to do at any time and I'll, I'll do what I can to help out thank you so much thanks you Any guys have fun Frank. I'm going to shut this train down <laughs> okay